The public have been demanding a sequel for 20 years now. At what point did you realize it was going to become a reality? I didn't want to do sequels at the beginning of my career because you know, I felt like I always wanted to go down new paths and create new characters. So I always figured if I, if I had done The Mask and Ace and whatever as uh, a bunch of sequels, I wouldn't have been able to do Eternal Sunshine and The uh, Truman Show and things like that. So, But in answer to your question, um, <laughs> it was when he called about four or five years ago. He'd seen it on TV, right. I believe, and he, he was reminded how good it was and called and said, hey, we got to do a sequel. This is, I yeah. love those characters. The world needs these characters. Jim and Jeff, how did you feel the first time when you had your physical transformation back into Harry and Lloyd again after all these years? Like, oh, he's back. Oh, there he is. It there felt good. Is. Yeah, it felt good. First time I saw the playback of them coming off the bus in the old clothes and stuff, I felt like, wow, they, this is kind of warm feeling, <laughs> you know? It like, was also, you know, the friends. the first one, you kind of had to, gee, is this funny? Should I do the hair? Should I, you know, is, is this the walk? You make all those actor decisions. We already made those decisions, you know, 20 years yeah. ago. So it was like, oh, yeah. let's just go back and do, because it worked. And they go tried to, to put it. new clothing on us, yeah. too. There, was yeah. like, there were costume fittings, yeah. and they kept handing me T-shirts, and I was like, no, no, no. 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 This, it turns out, basically, this is their uniform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, dumbness can clearly transcend time. What are the chances of seeing more Harry and Lloyd in the future, especially now that it's gone down so well in the States? It's all we're going to do now, over and over <laughs> and over again, until you get sick of it. <laughs> It's going to be the Carry On movies. Fanny Felcher was a classic Carry On name. I think yeah. she, right, she yeah, needs a exactly. spin-off where she meets Fanny a dick. Felcher. I used to love those movies when I was a kid. I think they had someone in them yeah. called Dick Gobbler. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the pair, names pair were up with Fanny Felcher. You've got a new franchise. That's right. Nice yeah, couple. yeah, yeah. Carry On Screaming was one of my favorite movies. Frying tonight. Is mm -hmm. Felcher a term that is known around here? Because in the states, it really hardly anyone knows. Mainly for teenage boys who dare to experiment on Google a bit and then really? clear the internet history. Yeah, okay. it, is, it is known a bit actually, yeah. Right. That British humor is quite scatological if that's yes. the yeah. right expression. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do, do, is Snurd Nurgle, <laughs> is, that, is that anything, anybody know Snurd Nurgle? No. Yeah. No, but I'm gonna, if I can spell it, I'll Google it. Yeah, even worse than Felcher. You just leave it's that alone. Much worse. <laughs> yeah. If you could revisit any other character you've played or created in the future, who would it be and why? I think I would, uh, I would uh, revisit my, my character in Dead Poet Society. <laughs> yeah. Not Earth Girls are easy, I love I that song. <laughs> I wish Sean Patrick Leonard in that. <laughs> what about Honestly, uh, when, that movie, when that movie came out, people were chasing me in the street thinking I was Sean Patrick Leonard. Really? <laughs> yeah. It was a low point, wasn't no, it? No, I just, at that point in my life, looked a little bit like him. And I got what, a lot what about, of, uh, what's her name, got Peggy Sue got married? Peggy Sue wouldn't you oh. want to do that again? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, he was. I would love that. to. I would love to be a day player. And I could see, <laughs> I could see you doing. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what was the Deborah Winger movie again? I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, that that hilarious that, one. That uh, boy, good times, lots of jokes. Yeah. Um, uh, terms of endearment. Terms, terms of endearment. Of, no, that's not it. No, um, that's the one I was thinking. No, no, was she not in the that? one. No, I, Deborah Winger. She wasn't in Terms of Endearment? Shirley MacLaine, Jack Nicholson. The Endearment of the Squid. Yeah. What? Okay. I, 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 it'll come to me.